Before his creations began to cause a sensation with every new A-lister he dressed, designer Otsile Sefolo was practicing as a qualified auditor. Feeling like a fish out of water in auditing, he enrolled in a design academy, and today he's getting invites to New York Fashion Week. Uh, welcome to our studio. This is where the magic happens. Uh, so with the reception, I wanted like the little arcs and a bit of light because I mean, this is the space where people walk in and uh, it has to really look uh, spectacular. But not forgetting, it's still a fashion house. So we still have to display our beautiful dresses and garments. We cater for both ladies and men. So we've got our beautiful dresses just to showcase the type of details and the finishes that we do on our dresses. And we also have the men just to showcase and show the gents the style and suits and the finishing that they can get from us. And this side is our waiting area. We played around with a bit of color. Uh, this is a high traffic space, so we couldn't go with uh, lighter shades of colors. We went with the blue so that it can stand the test of time. And we play around with a very strong, colorful uh, wallpaper just to pick up again on the furniture this side. Uh, this is our consultation space. This is where all the creative juices come to life. Welcome to our consultation space. So with the deco this side, uh, I was very intentional about the colors. I wanted like the whole black and white feel. I went with a black couch on this side, mainly because this is the couch where most of the clients get to sit as they get to watch and see whatever that I'm sketching on the screen. And uh, my chair, which is more on the side where I can still be in full view of my clients and I can be able to have a conversation with them and get to engage with them nicely. From traveling, uh, I get to see quite a lot of beautiful things and I wanted to encompass and bring all of those spaces that I've seen when I travel into one space and uh, make it about Odyssey Flow. And it must also resonate and speak to the brand and what the brand is about, which is beauty and luxury. Otsile credits much of his success to loyal clients like model and businesswoman Sibatle Sitole. I absolutely love all of Otsile's um, designs. I am a super huge fan and I always feel very fortunate to be able to even be draped in any of his amazing garments. Otsile and I, we always go for long dresses. So this is the first time we do something, you know, kind of on the knee. This is now my favorite dress. <laughs> The inspiration behind this dress was mostly uh, the body. We were playing around with something uh, that would fit her nicely. Uh, but then again, instead of doing your normal mermaid effect, we wanted something that was a bit abstract. And uh, we added the shoulder detail to give it a bit of drama and uh, a lot of beading and uh, played around with the whole skin tone to give an illusion of not wearing anything. I met Otis last year at the event of Polo Monoring Hotel in Rustenburg and I won Best Dressed at the event. Otis was a designer for that reason. I won a voucher to be dressed by him. This dress is so futuristic. I love it. I love the colors. We went for both the yellow and mustard because they symbolize warmth, creativity, optimism and diversity. Uh, this is the, the dress uh, we went fabric shopping for. We went with that lace, so we used that lace as a base and uh, we added a whole lot of beading on top and uh, we still have to add the overlay detail that goes over the shoulders and yeah, that, that's the dress. I think the one thing about me and Otis, the way we really do connect is our attention to detail. The one thing I love about Otis is the details. I mean, even when we look at this place, it is magnificent. I've seen this place literally come from the ground up, from gravel and rocks before this bar area and the outdoor air sections looked as beautiful as it was. The one thing that has always stood out about him is the fact that he can take nothing and turn it into the most beautiful something. What I enjoy the most about Dressing Tino is the fact that he's easy to work with. Uh, there's nothing as beautiful as having that person that you can go to and build a relationship with. So it's not even about clothes anymore, it's about the relationship that you got to build over a period of time. Now that he's getting bigger, I don't know if I'm going to be dressing him anymore, but <sighs> I'm joking. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'll still be dressing you, man. Yeah, <laughs> Just no, joking. I but that. I mean, I enjoy the fact that he can carry the clothes and carry the look and the height works in our favor because, I mean, whatever that you put him in, it always looks good. Especially on clients like TV and radio presenter Pearl Modiade, who brings with her the attention of 3.6 million Instagram followers. 
So today I am wearing, actually for the first time ever, I'm wearing um, his ready to wear collection. It's loungewear inspired. And I love it because it's very comfortable. It's so comfortable, it's flowy, it's very classy and grown. And I can wear it to lunch with the girls. I can wear it to the office. Um, yeah, I think it fits in at a lot of places. I love it. Uh, I mean, I chased uh, Pearl for quite some time, about three years, and uh, we got to work together through, I mean, during COVID. Yes, because you were selling masks yep. during COVID, and they were made with African print, and I thought that was very different, and I thought if we're going to be wearing masks, we might as well make them fashion, and you were the first to do that. I think one outfit that stands out because it was different from everything we've done is the polka dot dress that I wore recently for a high tea event I was hosting. I loved it. It was high fashion. You you took it there. I loved the detail at the back. What do we call that? The shoulder detail. Yes. We went futuristic. We went futuristic. I love the, the glove detail, the of course, to suit the theme as well. And that dress was done in? In a day. In a day. <laughs> Literally, we day. sketched it around 9, 10 at night, the day before. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made the dress and uh, it was delivered the following day. Literally. I, but I love that the quality wasn't compromised. Never. Even with the little time that you had. So what I love about Otile as well is that he takes me out of my comfort zone and pushes me to try things that I wouldn't ordinarily wear. He puts his heart and soul into every garment that he makes. He pays attention to every single detail and everything that he has achieved says a lot about the effort that he puts into his work and people just gravitate towards him because of the great human being that he is. And uh, I feel really blessed and lucky to have met him on my journey. To motivate the young ones, I would say that they need to be patient with themselves. This is not an overnight success and it's still a journey even now. You need to enjoy the journey, you have to put in the effort, you have to wake up every day and be intentional about where you want to be and what you want to do. And it's taken 17 years for us to be where we are today and uh, it's the building blocks, small little pieces that we put together to a point where we can have something as big as what we have today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking time to watch and be part of this journey with us. Maybe Otsile Sefolo's auditing background accounts for his common sense approach to sensational design. Whatever it is, SA Fashion is all the richer for it.